Oh, I wonder why P. Diddy is trending. Oh, Carisha, please. Good evening. Welcome to Open Mic. We like to start things off with a few hot takes on news stories that you won't find anywhere else. Let's start things off here in the D.C. area, where a new study by internet service provider CenturyLink revealed the most searched for low-rated movies in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, and y'all pick some doozies. In D.C., the most search for a low-rated movie is The Room, a 2003 film that's become a cult classic for being really, really bad. By the way, it's actually showing tonight at E Street Cinema if you want to spend 14 bucks on Disappointment, and it looks like a lot of you do. Maryland went with the live-action Bratz movie, which I didn't even know was a thing until this very moment. I'm about to revoke y'all's Old Bay privileges for that one. Do better. Virginia, by the way, chose 365 Days, a movie where a mobster kidnaps a woman and gives her 365 days to fall in love with him. I know, I know, not problematic at all. By the way, the kidnapper and kidnappy then proceed to have a lot of grown-up fun. Look at Virginia watching the freaky stuff. Go on and get your money's worth from that Netflix subscription. I did watch that movie on a date night with my old lady, and it was so bad we bonded by making fun of it. It is a late night Cinemax movie with cinematography budget. But the sad thing is, our writer Leon had to look up the details about all of these movies, so he reinforced the findings of this study while traumatizing himself. The good news is that most states have cats in their search history, so the entire DC area can look down on everybody else. We actually managed to be the gold standard by default. Let's stay in DC for this next story. Let's stay in the movies for this next story. Regal Cinemas has announced 39 movie closures nationwide, including their locations at Gallery Place in DC and Rockville and Bowie in Maryland. Oh no, not Gallery Place. There goes one of the most metro accessible date options in the city. That theater was convenient for people who always run in late. And my people, I'm talking about me, it's me. Hi, I'm, I'm the problem. Uber can drop you right out front, and if you make it past all those escalators real quick, you were good. Date night saved. I do want to say condolences to movie fans in Rockville and Bowie too, but the Gallery Place news just, this one just really cuts me deep. Now, the only entertainment I have downtown when the Wizards and Caps aren't playing are the folks playing the bucket drums and whoever's doing a hand-to-hand -hand deal out in front of Capital One Arena. Let's go to Florida for this next story, where the administration of Governor Ron DeSantis is blocking a new AP course for high school students on African-American studies. The DeSantis administration must think, out of sight, out of mind, works with racism. These are AP classes. These kids are already smarter than most of the adults trying to take these classes away. Stay in your remedial lane and let the kids learn. Don't y'all have better things to do in Florida? Go on and trap some alligators. At least that would be brave. Instead, Florida's out here running scared from history books. Their boogeyman is the school library when it should be meth and mullets. Add Antonio Brown to that list if he keeps posting on social media. Clearly, these folks have learned nothing from Nazis burning books. And in case you're wondering, that didn't work out well for them. Go on and look at that AP German history curriculum. You know what? Actually, never mind. Florida will see how bad fascists look then and try and block that too. Let's go to Boston for this last story, where Boston Dynamics released a video of one of their robots named Atlas showcasing its agility on an obstacle course and performing a 540 degree flip. Oh man, my favorite thing about Atlas is he came about just as they changed the way the Metro platforms are designed. Try and stop Atlas from hopping that turnstile. But what type of American Ninja Warrior murder droid mess is this? See, this is how machines take over. We need to invent real life Star Wars lightsabers or humans don't stand a chance. Boston Dynamics has their robots flipping like Simone Biles. 
I don't trust this, by the way, because Boston is in the name. So you know somebody's going to program that thing to be racist. They made it white for a reason. I'm going to get called slurs and T-Pain auto-tune. Now, I do want to be optimistic about all of this, but this is the stuff dystopian sci-fi movies are made of. This is the beginning of the end. Say your prayers and protect John Connor. We're going to need him when the battle begins. And if you've never seen any Terminator movies, I'm sorry if you missed those references, but go ahead and search that instead of The Room or The Bratz movie uh, or that 365 thing. My favorite story, it's got to be the guilty pleasure movie study, mainly because none of us have been searching for cats. So we can all feel good about that. Well done, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia.